I want to take you through how to help students who are struggling with math word problems. I'll give you some tips over 20 years of working with students and teachers at all grade levels. Um, so let's, and we're going to throw in a great free resource. So let's get started. First of all, your prescription. This is really simple. If you want, if you have a kid that's struggling, two problems a day with a real human being. Don't pawn it off on somebody if you're a parent. It's okay if you don't know the math, if you're struggling right, in, in fact, sometimes that's even better if you're struggling right alongside your student, but really getting into it and trying to understand um, the math behind it. So why do students struggle? That's a great question. The reason most students are struggling is they really, that strategies aren't the focus. It's like getting answers to problems and really not understanding the problem. And they don't have mental models in their heads to solve certain problems. What I'm going to give you today is going to, is going to help with that. The resource that I have for you today is also going to help them to practice correctly. It's really going to give them the structure of problems um, that they typically don't practice correctly, even in, in class. They, they do problems sort of out of order. They don't really see the, the use of them. Here's the big secret. Students who struggle with word problems are using numbers to solve the problem. I know that sounds strange. Uh, we think math is about numbers, but word problems are more about problem solving and understanding relationships and what's in the problem. So really, if you teach your student, don't use numbers to solve word problems. Use words to solve word problems. Understand the words and how they fit together, not the numbers. The numbers are interchangeable, the resource I'm going to share with you right now is perfect for teaching this skill that the students get a sense when they practice these two a day that, hey, I've seen this problem. I understand the words. The numbers really don't matter. They continuously change. And too often students don't realize that. So this gives them the really that gives them the power to really understand problems. Not only that, but to make their own problems up and they really, believe it or not, one of students' favorite things to do is to do word problems once they get it. It's like solving puzzles. So let's jump in. I want to show you a free word problem resource right in uh, Math Playground. It's called Thinking Blocks Modeling Tool. It's kind of hard to find. So if you click on here and you put start, at first, like when I first saw this, I didn't really know what it was about. But if you check here, it's got problems. And click on this green thing it gives you all these word problems and it lets students practice the type of problem they might see and use a strategy one strategy at a time in this case where you're really using a lot of modeling you don't have to use modeling but i think that's a great strategy that that really helps kids advance quickly in math especially with word problems but it it gives you a continuous um supply of practice problems that are very similar they they, they and a, a student gets to know this type of structure to this problem and then they can move on to a new one and so so they really build the structure this is a great resource because the structure of these problems really helps students to go hey i've seen that problem i get it and at first, you're going to see them struggle because they're going to, especially when they get to the harder ones, they're going to try to just stick numbers together without understanding it. And they're going to be really confused. Just keep working them through that. Just keep going through it and, and practicing. And the great thing that is, this is great for parents too at home because you can check the answers. They're right here. You can view the models. Um, uh, they, they do have down here, you could build your own models. I think that kind of takes a little too much time. Sometimes I do it, but usually I use uh, paper and pencil with whoever I'm working with. And we just sort of challenge each other to kind of dig into these problems. When you get to the algebra ones, they get really, really challenging. And even a great teacher kind of just understands that they can struggle right alongside to get confused. It's all right to show you're confused with students and really go, hey, we're understanding this together and really focusing on those words and those, you know, what it's all about. Uh, this is a great free resource. You can, once they get everything, you can just throw out random problems. You know, don't do too many. Two a, two a night, and but consistently, 
and you're going to help your student build their reading skills. You're also going to help them, you know, really get proficient with problem solving. I would say right in this little tool, it's got everything you need to really master a lot of the math, you know, from third grade, second, third grade, all the way up to even seventh grade. And I've worked with teachers at every level. And if I had a student that mastered each one of these categories in each one, by the way, there are tutorials in this program if you look around for each type of model. Um, but I think once you work with kids one-on-one, -on -one, that that they can go through the tutorial videos, but it, it's better to have a, a person just sitting and learning right alongside of them or teaching them or asking them questions. So I hope you found this useful. I hope it really helps some students out there get better with their uh, word problems and uh, good luck.